Hello and welcome back to my let's play on To the War Three Kingdoms with Li Yan, although now, I suppose, Li Zhang, although our heir is still Li Yan, it's not like he's gone. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Last time I left off, we had been kind of stuck in this whole, this, 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 it, yeah, it's just difficult right now. We don't really know what to do because we've, we've got war with Lady Zhurong. We did defeat her army. That was good. We're also at war with uh, Duosido, who's got a couple of towns here. He just took this one by confederation. And he's got a little small army here, which could actually take Zhang Yang by itself. Because the garrison in Zhang Yang is essentially non-existent. Although, I mean, we get tower, so it, it probably wouldn't, like... Because the army's half dead. I feel like we probably could actually win it. But I might still recruit a character there anyway. Um, and then I I have my army here, which is ready to... Well, not ready, but it's basically ready to attack um, Zhangyang. Sorry, Ping, Pingyi in the province of Zhangyang. Um, but of course, there's a full stack there and we're not fully replenished. And our, uh, uh, our supplies are still pretty low. So I'm probably going to sit here for another turn or two. Maybe I'll sit in Zhangyang because then I might as well protect against this without recruiting an extra army. Um, also, I have upped the audio levels quite a bit since last time. Because I I don't know what's going on. It, it's just from, from one day to the next, it seems my audio was super low. And in fact, like right now, it's not even... Even though I upped it. There you go. I can... Yeah, when he's talking, I can actually see it. But on OBS right now, I'm looking at the bars, and they're barely going up. But I upped it quite a bit, but I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, um, we have a ton of characters available again, but we looked at these last time. Well, I looked at some of them last time, and not, nothing particularly interesting. And we also built this building, which, that's all good. Um, right, so we have our army. We also have our faction council available again. We st oh, still only have one person here, and it's just a raid. Yeah, we looked at this last time, too. It wasn't super interesting. We also, I think we had another trade agreement available but yeah there's actually none available so that's good I, I forgot to look at that several times last time i just i realized that after i recorded the episode of course which is very useful um now okay this unlocks saber infantry because i i've okay so yesterday i had a very lengthy discussion with uh serious trivia not just about this but we we did talk about it and he he still thinks that saber infantry are better but he didn't like he doesn't think jump sword guards are terrible he just thinks that these are just a little bit cheaper and the morale is not as much of a problem. But anyway, we had a we had a very long discussion in general. We were talking for like an hour or an hour and a half or so, I'm not sure. Um, just about the co-op campaign and stuff and basically just talking about it. And he put a lot of my fears at ease. He's, he's saying that it's, it's not... He doesn't want to be, ha have the campaign become this like complete domination of one person over the other. So we're probably going to be played for the most part in co-op. We're not going to go like do all out war or anything, but mostly just like if we both want a territory, then we will fight over that territory and then we'll just be friends again afterwards. Something like that. Um, and he also told, like we talked about some of the exploits he likes to use and which ones are okay, which ones probably shouldn't be used in co-op, things like that. We will discuss all that when we actually do the campaign. But yeah, nothing too crazy. Like most of the stuff he, he says... Uh, is not a problem for me, and I'll probably start using that as well because it's not too big a deal. Um, and then also, we talked about some other stuff, but I've not, I can't remember what I was going to say now. So, um, yeah, we had a, a good, good talk basically. We are actually going to be recording this in a couple of days, and we're both very excited to do so. Um, anyway, right, so. Faction Council. Oh, yeah. One per Some people also said that I should have remembered... So, when we had that minus 20 happiness coming from Liu Yan's weird event, uh, I should have remembered titles. And this is something that, yeah, someone mentioned that I actually had totally forgotten about. This is what you get when you don't play the game for a while. Um, we, of course, have titles that we can give out, uh, which I would have been able to do instead of uh, putting someone in office. Although, I'm happy with putting Ji Ling in office because that helped a lot with the that event with uh, against Lady Zhang was super helpful. Um, I think I put her in office too, but she, that wasn't really a loss of money either. So I think I still didn't make the, necessarily the wrong call, but I could have made a better call. Um, in that, I didn't have to put anyone in office. I could have put uh, given them titles and then taken it away after a couple turns again. And that would have possibly not lost me as much money, but I don't think it's as big a deal. I remember there used to be one. It's this one, isn't it? No, it's... Stop. No. Which one is it? There's one, there are, there, that one, the General of the Right, which um, increases a 40, increases satisfaction, and, and decreases retinue upkeep by 5%, which actually, it only costs 100 bucks, so his retinue, for example, I can't give it to him because he's a he's our faction leader, but yeah, for him, he's 1120, so 5% of 1120 is 50-something, 
Um, so if I would have given that to him, this would have only cost me like 40 something bucks, which means that that's definitely worth doing. Unfortunately, right now we haven't got any generals that are a 40 based except for him. I mean, I can still give it to him just because uh, obviously the more a 40 he has, he's my faction heir, so we get more satisfaction faction wide. But eh, not as worried about that. There are I should probably still look at him anyway, though. We have a little bit of money. I could also consider building a second army or at least part of a second army soon. We don't have many good ones. Um, that's pretty good for her. She's pretty damn stoked to be here, though, but not super stoked. We are not currently on high satisfaction, so we could certainly do with more satisfaction. Um, I I don't know. It's She's also an administrator, so the income from peasantry actually might make a small difference. Probably not much, but hey, it helps. Range block chance, satisfaction expertise for 100 bucks per turn. Yeah, all right, you can be my director of astronomy. Why not? Then we have all those ones that don't do anything special. And then we have Earth Dragon, which is lower desire for higher office. More Okay, that's 200 bucks though. Eh, I'll leave that for now, but that's not a bad one either. I should use them more often. There, there are some pretty cool ones in there. Uh, so Faction Council, right. I don't think I want to actually put anyone else in Grand Command, Commandant, Commandant. I never know how to pronounce this fucking word. Um, what does it do again? It's the uh, recruitment cost reduction. Yeah, for three hundred or yeah, for her it'd be three hundred and fifty bucks because of course she hasn't got any salary. For them it would be two hundred bucks extra that I pay for something that doesn't really do much except for giving me an extra um, faction council thing. I'm assuming we can also do this next turn though, so I, I'll, I'll leave this for now. I think you can do it once per year. I just don't know if you can do it like in the winter of a year and then in the spring of the next year, like uh, the next turn basically. I don't know if, the, if it works like that or if it's like, if you do it, then it takes five turns before it's available again. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I think here we, I was planning on going down this route, which is always good for the corruption reduction, etc. We'd gone all the trade stuff that I wanted to get. Uh, we still need to get for food stuff, but we still haven't got that building to unlock that. We can go down here for that replenishment down here somewhere. I'm not too fussed about that. Although our replenishment is pretty crap, 10% right there. There's also the 2% right there. I think I'm just going to go for the money for now, because it's we just haven't got many many great options, to be honest. Um, and then you are going to go into Zhang Yang. And there's the Bosi. Okay, so he's not got a full stack. He's actually somewhat wounded too. But let's just sit in town, because our replenishment rate is fucking naff right now. It's just horrible. The, yes, military supply is minus. There we go. Finally, I now realize that there are... Well, I was already thinking that was the case, but yeah, actually, when we get higher military supplies and then we'll maintain it as high we will have much higher replenishment so there you go sitting there probably the best best choice for now uh then we have oh we can peace out ladies wrong you know what i think i will because that means i can focus on duo c for now what can we actually get from you probably not much have you got any ancillaries absolutely none well it's gonna have to be a bunch of money then didn't mean to do that is there anything else actually we can only offer food so no uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of money. Why not? Would, do you need food desperately? You do need food. kind of wonder how much money I could get out. Oh, that's two and a half. Yeah, let's just do one extra food for a bunch more money, I think. Uh, 75? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm not too fussed about it. There's one food for you. We shall seize this chance to peace out. Okay. Duosi doesn't want to peace because we haven't really fought any wars against him yet or any battles. So that's fine. Uh, okay. And then also, wait, we have a bunch of food. Did I did my food deals run out? That's one of the zero turns remaining. Zero turns. Cao Cao is equal on food. Yeah, he has positive food, so he's not going to pay me any. Sun Tse is poor on food, but he's got 10, so not really poor. You're very poor? Right, this is one of the ones I could do. I could give you 8 food. How much money would you be willing to pay me for that? Oh, 241, and then you're out of money. Have you got any ancillaries? Got any? Um, I should I should have a look at marriages as well at some point. I need to get an actual. Well, so this is what I should have done. People were saying in the comments as well that like if they played this campaign, they would have tried to go for Macho. I probably should have done that too. I never really thought about it anymore, and then when I thought about it, it was already too late, which is now. Um, but yeah, I should have considered doing that. Yeah, your money is also poor, which is why you're not willing to pay me a whole lot of money for this. So I think I'm actually just going to drop down the food, but not by much apparently. Um. Let's just drop down the money a little bit. Because I might be able to give out more money or more food that way. 
All right, 221 of this, oops. For five food. Not the best deal, but it's all right. Could be worse. Han Empire is rich in both, so that's unlikely. Kong Rong, you have 10 food, which means you don't want any. Liu Bia, I'm definitely going to give him more, but that's running out next turn as well. So next turn, we got a whole bunch of food deals I need to make. Tao Qian, still alive. Would you like some food? 1.4, this could be decent actually. Oh, that is not bad at all. That's quite decent, in fact. Um, let's do let's do it. Let's just give them all the food. Would you, would you do 510? No. 5... Oh, shit. 507. 508, final deal. All right. 508. He might have done 509, but we'll let him off with that one buck per turn. Right, that's all my food basically, so let's leave it at that, but that's pretty decent income now. Uh, right, what else was there? I was going to do something else here, I think. No, no more tr no more of that. Yes, the spy system. Um, so, I, that's that's the thing I, the thing I was also talking about with uh, Serious Trivia. He kind of explained the new, well, not new, but the spy system with turncoats to me. Because obviously people have been saying that if we're going to play co-op together, he's going to steal all my characters, because that's what he loves doing against the AI. So we talked about that, and... In the co-op, he will steal my characters, but he's not going to plant them in my faction and then make everyone else unhappy and steal every character because that just completely destroys the campaign, which is fair. Um, and I thank him for it. That, but he did explain the fact that there's the turncoat thing, which I completely just... I don't know if I ever even knew about it or if I just never used it because I've never been that into spies. I told him, like, one time I used spies or in one of my early campaigns. I took over, I think it was Yuan Shao's faction, with my spy. He became the faction leader. And then I triggered a civil war and stuff. I don't remember which campaign this was, but it's on YouTube somewhere. Um, and then it's just like, it, it, there was no real payoff. I was thinking, okay, if I take over the faction, I can just, like, confederate him or something. But that, that, that's not possible. That doesn't exist. So I, at that point, I was like, well, what the fuck's the point of spying then if I can't do all that shit? And then at some point, they overhauled it and they made it more interesting so you can steal characters and stuff. And that made it cool again. But I never, I, I was already just like, eh, spies, whatever. But he loves a spy, so he kind of explained the system to me, telling me that, you know, you can essentially, um, you can very easily just take other characters. If they're unhappy already, you can just pay them and they become yours, or they become your spy, and then you can just come, uh, take them out of the faction, and then they're yours. And that's what he's going to do against me, and I will possibly do against him if it's possible. Um, but he, yeah, but then you can also, if you do that, you can turncoat someone and then he's your spy and then you use him to make other people unhappy in that same faction and then you would make them all your turncoats as well. And then all of a sudden you just have the entire faction under your control essentially, or at least all the characters, which is basically the same thing. Um, so that that actually sounds pretty cool. So I might actually, when I level up again, put a have a spy and see if I could do something like that, or at least a spy slot and then turncoat someone. Because, yeah, that, that actually sounds like it could be pretty decent now, and I should probably also try and teach myself how to use that system a little bit. Uh, yeah, low military supplies, I'm aware. We can't build anything. Still haven't got enough... What? No, I should have enough money. I just guess I'm just building something everywhere already, and this one I can't because of tech. Okay. Gotcha. Um, right, so that's that's fine. And we have a little bit of money. We could probably recruit another army, but I don't think we really need it right now. Unless Gongdu declares war on me. We also don't have a lot of characters, to be fair. I mean, we have that. Uh, and I guess we have Jiling, who's also available. So we have two two uh, vanguards and two... We need a fucking melee guy at some point. It's just that we've not, we've not gotten any good ones. What the hell? Plus 25% of range damage. For, is that for him specifically? Holy shit, this guy's pretty good. I can't see his stats, though. Potential traders should keep an eye out for Cao Xing. Or risk losing it. <laughs> um, interesting. But he he doesn't have, uh, like, the stats. He doesn't have the, uh, like, plus 10 resolve, plus 3 instinct. What was what, that? How did, huh? Is it just, does it just not show me right now? Or does he not have that? Because he's like a unique, some kind of unique character who doesn't have that. Like, this guy has it. Uh, does this guy legitimately not have that? But he's got some other things instead. I'm kind of tempted to recruit him, because that's really interesting. Also, it's from the Tsao faction, but he was with the Han, so I'm not too worried about spying. Uh, actually, what, is he willing to, yeah, he's willing to spy for me. So he's not a spy. Um... Who are you again? I looked at you last time, and then I... Oh, right, yeah, you were weak and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna recruit this Cao Xing guy, because he seems interesting in that he doesn't have any stats. How does that work? 
He's well well happy to be here. Yeah, he's just a loyal sharpshooter. He's got other stuff. But he's agile, loyal, and resourceful. So he's actually pretty decent no matter what. Uh, and he's also got this ability. And then he can get reach right away to get that extra movement. So yeah, he, this guy looks like he's going to be a really good character for me. And he's well happy to be here. So that's always good. Uh, I'm sorry. That's clearly a bug. Because, I mean... The worst we have is 49, and then it's just positive from there. Like, what What are you talking about? Um, okay, right. I think I think that's it. I don't want to do the Faction Council because a raid doesn't seem particularly interesting. Although this is on um, yeah, Mulu's territory and the Han Empire territory, Guzang. The only reason I would ac actually do that on Guzang, even though I don't know where that is, is like if it was the neighbor town or something if the pirates actually take it then i can take it from the pirates without having to declare war on han but that's not really worth doing right now i'd rather keep it and see if i can get something else to appear anyway can we get rid of that low satisfaction because that's a bunch of baloney of course what a bunch of baloney i should have considered putting that guy in an office see if he's any good at it because he's weird like he doesn't have any stats all right that army moved back a little bit. The other one's still sitting in town. You want you to declare war on Liu Biao? Looters declared war on Liu Bei. Oh, it's telling me everything now, is it? Lady Zhirong declared war on Yang Feng. Oh, we got Meng Ho down here as well. And Yan Bai He is dead. Ooh. Ah, oh, his characters aren't available to me, unfortunately. Otherwise, they would have popped up already. Uh, I think it's probably worth upgrading this just to have a better garrison. Even if we don't get walls, it's still a better garrison. It's worth doing. Um... Min Ying, or Min Chun, sorry, leveled up. Uh, I think we made this. We had this decision to make last time too with her, and I think I went this way, and then we go because this this is pretty good. Um, then we don't have high satisfaction still, which is a little. Well, I guess there's enough people that aren't super happy. So let's have a look at the court thing. Is this guy any good at anything? Minus six percent construction cost, and then the rest is just whatever. Only two hundred extra bucks for this. He's, I, I kind of almost want to, because his traits are agile, loyal, and resourceful. So I, I wonder if he's got some really interesting things that pop up on the faction council. Ah, right, so it is every spring. Well, there you go. Answer, question answered. So I, I'll do it, I'll, I'll, if I want to assign him, I'll do it in spring. All right, our, so, yeah, so now we get plus 2% from energy supply. So that's actually already a huge boon. And we're going to wait one more turn, and then we're basically full. And I think I'll start moving after that. And now I think what I'll do is I'll just land, I'll just go across the water, land there, and if he wants to attack me, great. If not, we'll attack him. Sounds bueno. Um, but yeah, wait one more turn. It's a bit of a slow start, this one. I thought we were going to go harder once we actually did the inheritance thing, but no. Um, anyway, I... Oh, right, yes, all the trade stuff. Now we got all the food back. We got 19 food. Let's start with Liu Biao, because he's the one who always wants to pay me. Fucking loads. He needs nine food. That's decent. All right. Pay me all the money in the world. Ooh, it's not going to be as big as before, but it's all right. Or it's not going to be as insane as before, I should say. 60. All right, 460. Eh, can we make it 462, maybe? Yes. Um, all right, 462. Sounds good. I'm not even going to bother checking anyone else because that's already pretty darn good. Then we've got Yuan Xiao, who's equal on food, so he doesn't need any. Uh, Cao Cao is rich. Liu, Bie, uh, Liu Bei is still one. Oh, he's on minus. All right, here you go. He's 10 food for you. Although we are upgrading a town, so maybe this is not the right thing. Let's see how much he's willing to pay me for this. Not as much anyway. Okay, let's drop down two food. And then up this by a little bit. So 380 for eight food. That's not bad. Oh, God. Nope, that's not what I want to do. 384, 382, all right, 382 for eight food, not bad. That leaves us with two food, which should be enough to uh, maintain this, because we're, yeah, it's going to cost us two food to upgrade, so we're good. We should be able to get some more food at some point soon anyway. Uh, eh, I'm not sure. Was I still supposed to, yes, I think I was still going to exchange these buildings as well, so I still need to do that at some point. We, get, we actually have a decent amount of income now, so I'm, I'm okay with doing it at this point. So this is a uh, food industry, although maybe, no, I think I was going to keep it on this actually, because we're, this is industry income, so we can just make it industry income, this province. That's okay. 
This place is going to be food, but that's already fine as well. But this has got a copper mine, which is always a really good building. Eh, I think we're actually okay. I think I've, I've talked about this multiple times, and every time I end up saying, oh, I think we're actually okay. So I need to pay, pay more attention to what the fuck I'm saying to myself. Um, Alright, I think that's diplomacy done, unless there's trade available, which I should definitely check. There is trade available with Liu Yao. Alright. Pay me some money. He's not going to pay me that. Pay me some insta money then. A little bit more. Although, have you got any incinerates, just out of curiosity? No. Alright. Give me all that insta money then. Uh, okay. Thanks. Holy... I don't know if that showed up on the on the video as well, but it's like flashing black for some reason. Okay, uh, that's that. We are making quite a, a decent bit of money. I'm okay with not building a second army yet, because we don't really need it yet, and the more I can build up a treasury, the better for now. I think once we send this army over, maybe I'll make a small army in Zhangyang. Just one retinue with... Yeah, just one full retinue, probably. Let's see if Duosi does anything now before we... Oh, he moves that tiny army over again. Just back and forthing it up there. Tsai Mao declared war on Huangzi, or Huangzhou even, and... Um, Hua, okay, so Huangzhou, I guess, is, is uh, yeah, independ it making, it, declaring independence from Liu Biao. A walk in the woods, minus three morale. Oh, that's poor timing. We're just going to go on the, on the offensive. Uh, Duosi has a new faction capital. Oh, interesting. Did he lose something? His new one is Fooling Fooling. It's that one right there. So I guess he's only got these two towns here now. He must have lost something. Stone Horse. And have a projected income of 3,000 or more to start your turn. Steward of the Changle Palace. What is that? Show me, mister. Uh, it's this one. Cunning, satisfaction, and income from commerce and the administrative commandery. Hmm. That is not terrible. I'll hold on for now, because I don't want to spend too much money. No one unique again. The stone horse, not bad. Do I have any ancillaries I need to give away? I think everyone's got full ancillaries right now, so I think I'm good. At least, like, anything I can give out, I have. Alright. I think we're almost full health. We should be okay. I could just go up to here, and then next turn, head that way, so I get one more turn of replenishment in. But let's just be like, yo, what's up? If I go... Hmm, actually, could I try an ambush? 45%. If I go there, it would be 70, but then I can't because I don't have enough movement left. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking, I don't really necessarily want to go in range of the town, because then if he attacks me, I actually, he actually gets the garrison to join him as well. Which... I don't know if that's a good idea. This army isn't, like, insane or anything. Let's just go... It's just, I mean, if I try an ambush, where is he? he's just going to run away. He's going to run past me, isn't he? But then again, that's probably okay. Let's just do it. Ambush it is. I mean, it's 45%, so it's probably a failure anyway. He might just sit there. We'll see. Um, anyway, that's that for now. If, and if he does run past me, I think, honestly, if he runs that way, he'll run into me anyway. But if he would run past me, that's okay, because then you could just attack him without the garrison next to him. So that's good. Anyway, um... We have unhappy towns, etc. That's fine. Do I have any assignments I want to do? That's a thing I should consider. I have none to do. Why? Because I only have... Oh, I have two out of two. There you go. That, that would answer that question. Okay. Gotcha. Fair enough. You got me. Uh, can still not aggress with the Han Empire, but I still don't really want to do that. No, I think we're all good, to be honest. Let's end the turn again. I guess what I should be doing at some point is looking at potential marriages, but... I don't know with whom I would. Uh, Cao Cao. No. Like, I don't know who currently has... I guess I could look in the family trees, of course, but... I don't think I've got many family members anyway. I, oh, I, in fact, I don't think I've got any... Well, I've got Liu Zhang, so I, it would, would have to be a woman. I don't think I've got any uh, female members of the family that are unmarried. I could divorce them, I guess. Um, and then... Marry her to someone like Macho, but it seems quite unlikely to happen, so let's not bother. Plus, I don't like to mess around with stuff like that. I'm a min maxer for the most part, but then 
situations like that, I just don't, I don't really like fooling around with that because those people are happily married. Why would I change that? You prick. Zhang Chao declared war on Tsatsa, Zerong declared war on Tsatsa. We got splendid carriages, a worthy entourage. My lord, our artisans have completed a beautiful set of carriages to transport you in comfort through the kingdom. While some ill-advised fools may claim you are unworthy of such finery, these are truly op opulent crafts, reflecting not only your status but your higher purpose also. Plus 10 satisfaction faction wide, minus 5 diplomatic relation to Han and perfections. Okay, that's okay. I don't think I'm bordering any of the... Well, I'm bordering the Han Empire itself, but other than that, it's going to use a yellow turban, so we don't care about that. And then the Han Empire is probably not going to declare war on me, because Dong Min would have to. Right, I think this is a perfect time to recruit an army here to deal with this guy. If he does run elsewhere, we have... Well, this place currently got a shit garrison. It's about to get a better one next turn. But it does, it will be like almost dead, so that would that be a bit annoying, but I could always recruit a character there if I have to. I think for now we'll recruit someone here, and that's going to be Cao Xing or Ji Ling. Uh, I think it's going to be Ji Ling, the blunt instrument, why not? I mean, what has he got here anyway? One spirit, yeah, we could just do a full retinue cavalry if we had to. All right. Unique character, go! And I think we're just gonna recruit a bunch of mounted lancer militia with him. Oh, we can have eight of these guys. I, I, I haven't really thought about that yet. I don't think I would have changed anything because I, I think we'll still have just two of those on every army so we can have fire arrows. Um, and then I probably will replace these two with those two and I could have four armies of just two of those units, which is probably good. Uh, for now though, you're just gonna get some mounted. Oh, what am I doing here? You're just gonna get some uh, of those, and then I guess you're gonna get two of those. They are double the price, though. It's a bit expensive for now. A G militia. I mean, they're a lot better. I don't. I normally I wouldn't even recruit G militia. It's just that right now I feel like I don't want to spend that much money on an army that isn't actually gonna be an army yet. So let's just leave it at that. Uh, I got still no buildings to build. Baxi is still unhappy. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything about that right now. Oh, it's actually losing me Imperial Favor. Luckily, that's not actually a thing yet, but it will be in two years or a year and a half, so that's not great. Can you reach the town right now? You can. Okay, well, I guess that's what we're going to do then. A close defeat. I'm going to make a night battle, which is good. I can also teach him out, Ooh, which I think I might just do because it's still one of those battles. Having said that, we fight it right now. Oh, he's got Sunjung Poison Darts, a couple of them, and the Hidden Vipers as well. Those are pretty good units, aren't they? Sunjung Poison Spears too. Uh, we have Turtle now, so we can actually... We can make the towers fire at, at them, and then I can just shoot with my range units. And we outrange them. Someone fucking dying over here, come on. Um, anyway, I could siege them out, they'll take attrition, which is good. Oh my god, it's getting awful close, am I dying? Um, the thing is that if, this is always the problem, right? If I siege them out, and if they ta if they sit there for a turn without actually moving out, or without selling out, great, because they take attrition. If they don't, however, if they do sell out, it means that I fight a battle on a field, which is nice, but if I win, it doesn't matter, like, I, they, they will still be alive, so I'll still have to fight another battle against them. And that always sucks. Although I suppose they would take another turn of attrition afterwards. Yeah, you know what, I think I've talked myself. Well, I feel like we could just win it without any real problems either, though. We can just... We have those tur we have turtle formation, because we can just sit there and just shoot with all of our arrows, and they... I mean, there will be stuff that survives, but... They have a lot of stuff that hasn't got... In fact, they've only got like three units of shields. And I guess the garrison units. Two more, three more. But most of their stuff hasn't got shields. So our archers actually would have a field day here. I think I'm just going to do it. And I, I can always draw... Like, I can always leave anyway. And then just siege them out for the rest of the turn. Which is kind of cheesy. But it's not too crazy. Um, yeah, let's just do it. I think this shouldn't be too much trouble. Those... Those, all those poison units though are pretty decent, but I think that arc archers and crossbows are going to have a an absolute field day here. And the trebuchet, of course, although the trebuchet, as we found out recently, has been performing absolutely fucking horribly. <laughs> like, I don't know what it's been doing, but it's not great. 
All right. So yeah, turtle formation is just gonna be our our savior here. I'm gonna put a couple of cab over here because I find that the enemy tends to run in uh, in these directions, and I want to have some stuff ready for killing them. We also have fire arrows on them now, which is nice. Might actually use them to, f to burn down the towers, which would be even better. All right, so we've got you guys. Uh, we've got the turtle boys up front. Let's put you here, you here. You're gonna go for, I think you are gonna go for the towers, although it is raining, which is a bit annoying, but Trebuchet is actually gonna go all the way up front, but not all the way, just over there. Not flaming shot, because tri serious trivia told me that that's, uh, they are, they are, the one, the person who told me that flaming shot is worse now uh, was apparently right. Turtle up, and the rest of the infantry can just sit back for now. They might be sent in at some point, but not yet. All right, so you're gonna go here. You're gonna go somewhere over here. And then in about six hours when they arrive, we'll send up our range units. Oh, trebuchets, ah, trebuchets, trebuchets. Um, I mean, yeah, no, fire over here somewhere. At least try, Mr. Trebuchet. Well, that did something. Ten kills. Oh, yeah. All right. Range units start mo slowly moving up. Let's get these three up first. We need to get a lot closer still. What's that? You, what's that? Ability. Endless volley. Ranged attack rate, melee attack rate, morale. Wow, that's very helpful when they're not actually in melee or anything. Alright. I don't know why you met. I don't think I put you there, but whatever. I also feel like I could just ignore these towers by going over here instead. But. Let's keep you like right there and I'll still move these guys more towards this area here. You should be almost, in fact you are already in range, so why don't you just uh, stay right there. You run up now. Fire arrows, the tower. But both of them. You run up as well. Alright, we'll start with a volley on that one. You're gonna fire volley. That tower right there. Oh, you fucking... Oh, what the hell? Actually, I might need more volleys because it's raining. It's not going to automatically burn down now, is it? Because it's raining. Alright, crossbow's having a field day. Killing everyone. Probably should have focused those towers more. We are having to waste a lot of arrows on this, but it's going to make my life a lot easier later on. Maybe I'll, I'll leave that one tower up, or at least I'll focus these two first anyway. Okay, we got stuff routing as well, which is nice. Still not taking any actual damage, which is good. 73%. Ooh, okay. I thought they were running out for a second, but no. Trebuchet, you're still doing stuff as well? Yeah, you're shooting over there. You've got 100... Oh, man, you're actually doing quite alright. Good job. Okay, that's one tower gone. Stop wasting any ammo on that one. Uh, cavalry, this is where you... Oh, no, they're already back. Fuck, this is the problem where they come... Where they're, they stop routing... When they're, um... When they're outside, and they can just come and kill me, which is actually really annoying. Try and kill them for me. Let's get my infantry up a little bit as well. Not you. Although, yeah, you guys as well, why not? They're, fire, they're fighting my spear units, so it's okay for now. Okay, so those towers are all gone. You have destroyed another tower, which is why you're not shooting the right thing anymore. I feel like maybe explosive shot would have been better because of the morale debuff as well, actually. So let's do a final couple shots of morale debuff over here. Oh, here comes Duosi, the man himself. Okay, you've done a well against that. You're going to be killing them, but there's still an actual tower here, which I probably should have killed after all. You are still available to do so. You've still got plenty of ammo left. Uh, you guys can move up a little bit as well. Uh, don't, don't, don't fire at that unit. Get a little bit closer. Fire at the stuff over there, please. Okay, 
Start heading over there because that tower is going to go very shortly. There you go, 100%. All right. Now, f normal arrows into whatever you feel like. Cavalry. Yeah, we lost a lot of cavs to our own friendly fire, I'm pretty sure. That's not great. Maybe fire at the unit that's coming towards us. We are... Where the... F oh, you're still back here. Um, yeah, we're able to now go up because all the towers are gone. So that's not a problem anymore. That one's still firing, but no, well, it's not anymore. Okay, go kill them. Although these guys aren't fully gone yet, but that's a large unit to charge into. Okay, you might want to stop firing into the unit that's engaged in melee now. You can go help out against that, as can you. Anyone want a duel, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Yes. Let's compare. Let's compare notes. Uh, we would absolutely demolish this one. And we would also absolutely demolish this one. Although this one does a little bit more damage. But until they engage me, I don't really think I should. Because they're... Eh. Go for it. You'll be fine. Oh, fucking the slingers have come out. Oh, no. Those are the ones who routed and then stopped routing, I guess. 40. Yeah, we don't have to kill them off. We don't actually care about that right now. Is that jewel happening? Why is she just standing there? She... Oh, there we go. I guess they couldn't see each other or something? What the hell? And then they didn't dismount each other. Nice. Uh, crossbows. You're still easily in range, so just keep it up. We are starting to run a little low on ammo, but we've done a lot of damage already, so I can't really complain. You can come back now. You're absolutely wiping the floor with that lady. That's good. We are out of ammo on one unit. And the trebuchet is the two, technically. Whatever. It's a captain right there. Uh, yeah, keep firing for now. Cow's just going to charge in there. Now you can stop firing. Alright. Are there any more units that haven't got a shield? Yes, those right there. Uh, you got a little bit of ammo left. Let's shoot at them, please. Those are actually some of the scary units they've got as well. Swords. Time to get up to the front because there's no more fear of towers. This is why I said this battle should totally be okay to fight manually like this anyway because towers. Do you want to duel that guy? Uh, he's got some decent melee evasion. You probably still bust him up. Fuck me, your speed is 150, by the way. Holy shit. What's his ability, though? Uh, minus... Uh, eh. Your armor's on 10% anyway, so I guess that's not really a big deal. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna hold off on that. She can duel if she wants to afterwards, maybe. Alright, cavalry. Make sure that unit doesn't come back. We are out of ammo on you as well, and you. So we are basically out of ammo now. You've got a little bit left. Fire it at the slingers. Right, you need to kill this woman already. Time to die, alright? You can get out of formation. Are they not in range of me, by the way? Ooh, they're dropping morale. You know what? Switch the fire arrows real quick. Might be able to route them. There you go. Now get back on your horse, even though it's in the middle of all these slingers. You know what? That's, that's a good opportunity to go in there. Oh shit, Duos is angry. We won't like him when he's angry. They just fucking disappeared. It's almost like they're some kind of guerrilla warfare unit. Uh, I don't know if I like this, him being over here. Let's start slapping him. You as well. Get in there and slap this man. Or, you know what, if you want to duel that other guy, yeah, go for it. Uh, you keep slapping him. Give him the old, give him the clap. Alright. Engaged in single combat. Cavalry. It might be time to get you guys through somewhere, because there's a lot of slingers over there. I'm going to get you guys back as well. If I can get through on this side, which it looks like that should be possible. That's going to be very good, because there's a lot of slingers around. Those are all regular slingers too, not poison anything. Morale's pretty low already, so honestly, just getting in there will probably route them. Oh, this jewel's not going as well as I was hoping. He was already somewhat wounded, so... Okay, just these two calf. One of you. Go over there. The other one. Go over here. Crazy, I know. 
Oh. Oh, what a lovely charge that was. That was just, that was just fun to witness. Oh shit, they had hidden vipers. Oh, actually they're not. They're sun junk poison darts, but they sure they sure as fuck could have been hidden vipers, I'll tell you. <laughs> um right, other cab arrived. Come over here. Get in there. Alright, we routed one unit. Pretty close to riding the whole thing, but they're still Duosi. Yeah, you're winning that jewel after all. Good man. Good good woman, sorry. Um Okay. Keep running up here for now. The fucking pace on these guys when they're near him. 147. <laughs> Holy shit. That is beautiful. Alright, she's one on second jewel. Nicely done. Nicely done. That's well done, nice. Alright, you're gonna help out here to route them off, and then you're gonna go over here and help this unit. This unit's holding us incredibly well, by the way. <laughs> that's what that's what John Sword Guard are not great at, is killing shit, but of course that's not what they're for. Alright, line up boys, we might get attacked soon. Uh, let's have one of you come back somewhere around here. It doesn't really matter anymore at this point. Right, you guys have dealt with that unit. Let's keep dealing with it. Don't get stuck on Duosi. You're gonna go over there. You're gonna start hitting Duosi, as are you. Are you back on your horse? Yes, you are. Good lady. Lady! Okay, they're routed here. But not the unit that's holding us. They're still okay. We need to get through these sunshine poison darts and then into that unit. Raw into the back of him. Go over here with your shitty ability. Oh, he's minus 38 morale. Alright. Minus 79. Get out of here. Go on. Alright. Good battle. Heroic victory. Wow, okay. That's, that's good. That made up for all the kind of poor battles I've done so far recently. This was a very good one. I mean, to be fair, those crossbows, man, <laughs> slaughtering everything, wasn't really a whole lot left to do. In fact, one of the archers actually had almost the highest kills. It's, it's different now, I think, because we gained some extra kills from the killing afterwards, but... Ooh. We got we got a new Okshima Shambin. He's actually picked up the good trait from losing a battle, but he's also ambitious. Six secret teachings, not bad. Oh, someone also said I should have taken on a Nanman character. Even, like any of them, it doesn't have to be like a unique one, just a character. And then made them my heir, because you can like mold them exactly how you want to be, which is actually a pretty cool idea. What was a pretty cool idea. But unfortunately that suggestion came too late. Um, anyway, do I release him or do I take the item? I like chance of ambushing yeah I'm having this sorry mate you could have just given the item to me I would have let you live but hey that's not a feature in this game so all right good we got coil dragon have a general win two jewels in one battle oof should we give that to her she leveled up as well which is nice uh, that's always good. Yeah, we went for this on her, I think, because I wanted to get an eight, uh, like I wanted to have um, night battles, but I mean he's got it as well, so I don't know why I did that. It wasn't that important? But anyway, this is always good. Uh, what was it called? Coil Dragon. It's resolve, of course it is. Plus twenty percent general's health. Holy shit, that's pretty good. So that's yeah. You can't. You ha you want to give that to a resolve character because they they already have high amounts of health because of the high resolve that they have. Then you just add more resolve and you add twenty percent on top of that, which is actually pretty insane. So I think I think you give this one to a uh, a green a champion, which is unfortunate because I was really wanted to give it to her. But you can have a new book, which doesn't lose me a little bit of happiness, but that's okay. Uh, and then we also haven't actually equipped him yet, have we? Or I, have, I think I have actually. Yeah, we got this. Also, yeah, someone mentioned, and they're totally right. This actually says own army. It doesn't say own retinue. So it's actually relevant for the entire army. So I am going to give it to an instinct character. And then if we have, well, it's still a waste in the melee calf because you don't, we don't have melee calf in an army where I have a, a vanguard. But uh, the melee damage from melee infantry could still be relevant if I give it to. A, 
a vanguard in, in the same army as a sentinel. Um, either way, though, 5% is fucking nothing, so it doesn't really matter. Like, I mean, it's 5% melee damage, was it? So these guys have 23 melee damage and 17 melee damage. What's 5% of 23? It's one point very little. That one's less than one, but it's probably going to be scaled up to one. But basically, this becomes 24, that becomes 20, uh, that becomes 18. So it's not like it's going to really add a lot. Melee calf probably... No, it's actually just as bad. It's even worse. So yeah, I mean, late game, it would be more relevant when you have high tier units. But even then, how often do you see me recruiting high tier units in this game? Um, anyway, still making lots of money. Everything is good. Uh, we have one extra food now. Right, yes, our town. Yeah, what what did we take here? We took uh, this this one, the copper mine. Oh, that's actually very good. Level 5 copper mine. That minus corruption is always great. Uh, cool. So the other town that's part of this is this one here, which I do want to take, but we are not at war with this person. Although, of course, they used to own that town, so now it actually would be a lot easier to take this town. I wonder if you want to peace out with me. No. You could probably make it happen, but I don't think I want to peace out with him either, since we just took that town. Why would he peace out? So he's only got... Uh, actually, he's got these two towns over here, at least. But it looks like that's, that is probably just it. We are also bordering uh, Meng Huo, although... I'm not sure. No, we don't. Well, we are bordering through the forest, but not bordering any roads. So I don't know if that would help our cause of him not declaring war on me. We are now going to be properly going into any to into Naman territory, though. So any other town we fight in is going to give us tired minus movement, minus supplies, etc. So that sucks, but probably going to have to be done. So yeah, I think we'll just keep going this way, and maybe we'll have the second army once it's dealt with this. Maybe we'll have it go take this if I build it up to be an actual full stack. We'll see. I just out of curiosity though, are you happy with this guy? You don't dislike him. You don't like any of my other uh, peeps though. But oh well. Plus again, because of that item, I kind of want the melee infantry in that army. But I also really like I just told you, it's basically useless. So I don't really care actually. Also, you have high satisfaction. I just saw that before we ended the turn. So that's good. Let's see where Dwosi's second army is. It might just run back now because it's lost its first army. We'll have to see. Here he comes. Nope, he's going towards Jiangyang. Okay. That is somewhat interesting. The looters were destroyed. Oh no. Rip looters. And since it occurred, we're on Yellow Turban Rebellion. Lady Shirong is a new faction capital, which I guess means she lost another town again. Uh. So this this is our new capital, okay. Uh, we built the salt works up, which means I can now upgrade something else again. That's probably gonna have to happen. And we got Cheng Bing, competitive, fiery, and greedy. What the fuck is this? What is? Who are you? Level six already. Holy shit! Age thirty. What the? F Hello? <laughs> what happened to this guy? Um. Right. Okay. I will let them just attack me if they want to attack me. If they want to run, run past me, I'll just keep replenishing me and replenishing and take them on later. That's fine. She's leveled up. Wait, did she not just level up two seconds ago? Did she level up twice? No, she just leveled up again. What the fuck? She must have... Okay, that's weird. Anyway, uh, we'll take this, but I am going to end the episode here, so I'll probably have to redo that next time. Unless I'll record another episode right now. Anyway, for now, we are on minus food. It's because of winter, though, isn't it? So we should be okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, next time, we're going to take out this army. We're going to keep fighting Duosi. We've, we have, we've actually got a decent bit of a goal now, which is good. We, we actually have a path that we want to take, rather than just sitting there waiting for the enemy to do something so I can react. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and goodbye.